This is the Music History Today podcast for August 26th. On today's show, Jimi Hendrix opens and Ed Sheeran and Taylor Hicks set different records for completely different reasons. First up, though, on this date in 1936, the song Here's Looking at You, sung by Helen McKay, became the first to be broadcasted on television. In 1951, the musical film An American in Paris premiered in Great Britain. In 1963, Cilla Black played in concert for the first time as the opening act for the Beatles. In 1970, the Isle of Wight Music Festival in England started. In 1970, same day, Jimi Hendrix opened Electric Lady Studios in New York City. In 1973, singer Bobby Darin performed for the final time, and 10CC played live together for the first time. In 1977, KISS played the first of three gigs that became part of their live album, Alive 2. In 1980, Tom Peterson quit Cheap Trick, but he came back in 1988. In 1983, David Bowie's movie, Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, premiered in New York City. In 1993, Apple Records paid over $22,000 for a 1962 Beatles recording of two songs that they played at the Cavern Club back in 1962. In 1994, singer Frankie Miller had a brain hemorrhage that led to him being in a coma for five months. In 2006, Taylor Hicks of American Idol fame set a dubious record when his hit number one song, Do I Make You Proud, dropped from the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart, taking home the trophy at the time for being a number one song to spend the least amount of time on the chart from debuting to dropping at a mere eight weeks. That's it. Also in 2006, Steve Brookstein from X Factor married musician Eileen Hunter. In 2007, the group Day 26 was formed. Also in 2007, the Rolling Stones finished their Bigger Bang Tour with a then-record gross of $558 million. That record, of course, has been shattered a number of times, as we'll talk about in a minute. In 2012, musician Justin Minor married actress Kate Lang Johnson. In 2014, Kate Bush started a 22-concert residency at the Eventum Apollo in London, England, performing on stage for the first time since 1979. In 2016, the rift between the Hart sisters started when Ann Wilson's husband was arrested for assaulting Nancy Wilson's sons, who were 16 at the time. That rift has since been repaired. In 2019, Ed Sheeran finished his Divide Tour with a record, then at least, of $775.6 million gross over 255 shows exactly 12 years to the day after the Rolling Stones broke the record for the most money made during a tour. And of course, thanks to Beyonce and Taylor Swift, even that record has now been broken already. In classical music, in 1846, Felix Mendelssohn premiered his oratorio Elijah. In award ceremonies that were held on August 26th, In 2005, Ray Charles had a post office facility named after him in Los Angeles, California. Albums that were released on August 26th include in 1966 when the Walker Brothers released Portrait and Donovan released Sunshine Superman. In 1968, Marvin Gaye released In the Groove and Diana Ross and the Supremes released Diana Ross and the Supremes Sing and Perform Funny Girl and the Supremes released live at London's Talk of the Town. In 1970, Otis Redding released historic performances recorded at the Monterey International Pop Festival. In 1981, The Grateful Dead released Dead Set. In 1985, The Cure released The Head on the Door. In 1988, Journey released Starbox. In 1991, Blur released Leisure. In 1994, Amy Grant released House of Love. In 1997, Dwight Yoakam released Wild Gift, The Alcoholics released Liquidation, Creed released My Own Prison, Eddie Money released Super Hits, and Driving and Crying released their self-titled album. In 2003, 
Peter Frampton released Now, Styx released Rockers, and Warren Zevon released The Wind. In 2008, Three Dog Night released Three Dog Night Greatest Hits Live, Little Feet released Join the Band, Matthew Sweet released Sunshine Lies, and Motorhead released Motorizer. And in 2016, Kiss released Kiss Rocks Las Vegas. Singles that were released in the UK on August 26th include in 1966 when The Who released I'm a Boy and the new vaudeville band released Winchester Cathedral. In 1977, the Doobie Brothers released Little Darlin. And in 1978, Paul McCartney and Wings released London Town. Meanwhile in America, in 1964, the Kinks released You Really Got Me. And in 1968, the Beatles did a twofer. They released Hey Jude and Revolution. Also, in 1968, Mary Hopkin released Those Were the Days, and in 1969, Elvis Presley released his classic Suspicious Minds. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 26th include singer Shirley Manson of Garbage, singer Thalia, singer Cassie Ventura, saxophonist Bramford Marsalis, rapper St. John, rapper Lil Tecca, rapper YBN Corday, singer Adriel Favela, rapper Jean Soyon, Adrian Young of No Doubt, Dan Vicray of The Counting Crows, Bob Cowsill of The Cowsills, Billy Rush of Southside Johnny and the Asbury Jukes, Chris Curtis of The Searchers, Mo Tucker of The Velvet Underground, Fred Milano of The Belmonts, Nick Turner of Hawkwind, singer Leon Redbone, singer Vic Dana, Wally Murphy of Asleep at the Wheel, Jimmy Olender of Diamond Rio, singer Dr. Albon, singer Lil Chris, Brian Kelly of Florida Georgia Line, Jet Black of The Stranglers, Valerie Simpson of Ashford and Simpson, jazz fusion guitarist Scott Henderson, jazz fusion keyboardist Jim Beard, composer Mark Snow, keyboardist Michael Chetwood of Tapau, BBC radio presenter Steve Wright, guitarist John O'Neill of That Petrol Emotion and also the band The Undertones, bassist Danny Holland of Elastica, singer Seiko Chiba, guitarist Yamir Seguro of Manga, vibraphonist Peter Appleyard, and pianist Wolfgang Sawalich. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 26 include composer Louis Cooperin, who passed away in 1661 at the age of 35. Composer Christoph Schultz passed away in 1683 at the age of 76. Composer Sebastian Schurer passed away in 1712 at the age of 80. Composer Daniel Turk passed away in 1813 at the age of 63. Composer Philip Silcher passed away in 1860 at the age of 71. Composer Carl Wilhelm passed away in 1873 at the age of 57. Conductor Oscar L. Fernandez passed away in 1948 at the age of 50. Composer Ralph Williams passed away in 1958 at the age of 85. Composer Mark Hamburg passed away in 1960 at the age of 81. Composer Andre Sass passed away in 1967 at the age of 67. Singer and actress Juliette Bellevue passed away in 1975 at the age of 85. Opera singer Lottie Lehman passed away in 1976 at the age of 88. Composer Heinz Rotger passed away in 1977 at the age of 67. Pianist Charles Haubiel passed away in 1978 at the age of 86. Jazz saxophonist Jimmy Forrest passed away in 1980 at the age of 60. 
Lee Hayes of the Weavers passed away from heart issues in 1981 at the age of 67. Saxophonist Foots Thomas passed away in 1981 at the age of 74. Singer Carlos Paeo passed away in 1988 at the age of 30. Jazz fusion singer Rockin' Dopsy Sr. passed away from heart issues in 1993 at the age of 61. Ronnie White of the Miracles passed away from leukemia in 1995 at the age of 57. Alan Woody of the Allman Brothers Band and also the group Government Mule passed away in 2000 at the age of 44. Musicologist Miguel Galvalda passed away in 2002 at the age of 90. Singer Wilma Burgess passed away from heart issues in 2003 at the age of 64. Jazz trombonist Wayne Andre passed away in 2003 at the age of 72. Singer-songwriter Laura Branigan passed away from a brain aneurysm in 2004 at the age of 52. Dennis Delmore of the group Voivode passed away in 2005 at the age of 45. Violinist Josef Hader passed away in 2006 at the age of 79. Singer-songwriter Ellie Greenwich passed away in 2009 at the age of 68. Composer Ruth S. White passed away in 2013 at the age of 87. Country music session drummer Kenny Malone passed away from COVID-19 in 2021 at the age of 83. And blues and R&B singer Mabel John passed away in 2022 at the age of 91. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 27th, when in 1991, Pearl Jam released their debut album, 10. 